So we can select any web element using the CSS selectors to select the web element with Scrapey. Now what we have to do is select all of the products that as you can see we have one product right here, another one right here and another one right here. So we want to extract the data of each product that is its title along with its price. So what we can do here is go ahead and select each product that is the container with all of the product details and to see that you can see above our H3 that is this right here with our title its parent is this article right here and you can see the article has all the product data that is the product image the reviews the title and this same thing is for each product that is if I take a look at this list item right here you can see it has another product which is inside of a article element. So what we can do here is select each article element inside of this page and in that article we can select the h3 and the price that is this. So let's go ahead and see how can we implement this with Scrapey. First of all we need to select the article and to do that we can just create a variable to store the same that is we'll create a ebooks variable to select all of the ebooks or the articles and we'll use the response.css to select a css selector and then we want to select all of the articles now here we will not use the get method because we don't want to get a data instead we want to select a web element that is just a selection not get the data so here it will select all of the articles inside of the ebooks and it will give us a list of the same to see the same we can just print our ebooks on the terminal like this and now if i run our spider you will see we will get a list of all the article elements that is right here you can see we get a list with all of the products that is here our parsing starts that is right here then we get a list you can see box brackets and we get a selector element that is this data of the article comma another element and then we have comma another element so we can run a for loop on this ebooks to get one ebook at a time and then from that ebook we can select its element that is the title and the price so let's go ahead and run a for loop on our ebooks that is for a ebook inside of all the ebooks we will get the ebook and from that ebook we can just extract the title and let's say it will be the ebook css selector and it goes by the name of the a tag and we want to select its inner element that is the text and now on this element we can apply the get method if we had applied the get method here then we will not be able to use the css selectors on it anymore because this returns a string and the string does not support a css method here we only want the selection that's why we didn't use the get here but here because we have selected the inner element that is the a tags text we use the get method here so this is something i want you to take a note of and now we can also see which is the price that is if i inspect our price element that is this right here you can see it is inside of a paragraph with a class of price color now here you will see we have a lot of paragraph elements that is in stock is also inside of a p tag and this star rating is also inside of a p tag that's why we have to combine the tag name selector that is the p with the class name here because we don't want to select other p tags that's why we will use the class name with the tag name to do that first of all let's create a variable for the price and again ebook css selector and inside of this we want to select a paragraph element with a class applied and to do that we can use a dot and the class name which is product or price underscore color so i'll just type that here that is p with a class by the notation of a dot and the class name that is price underscore color like this so let me double check it that is we have a p element with 
the price color. And we have again the inner element that is this euro 51.77 to get this. We can just use the text selector that is two colons text and the get method. Now we can just print the title and the price for each iteration of the for loop. So if I go ahead and print the title along with the price like this, we'll get each product's title and price. So let's run our spider. That is, let's clear the previous output and let's full screen our terminal so that we have more room on the output window and then run our spider that is scrapey crawl the ebook spider let it run and then when it's finished you will see we have a lot of outputs that is here we start our parsing we have the product title that is this right here and then the price so that's how we select all of the products title and price with css selectors